Hey guys, this is Henry from Obedi again. Today we're going to be learning how to bounce a mix in Pro Tools. So let's say that you have finished recording all the parts, all the instruments, and you have finished the mix, and now you want to send an actual mix um, to your client or to your artist, right? And when I say mix, I'm talking about a stereo audio file that contains the whole song. So they can basically put that file in their phones or their laptops, or maybe their car, and just press play, and they'll should they should be able to listen to um, the whole stereo mix. Okay, so how do you do that? Well, um, there's a couple ways you can do it. Today we're gonna learn how to um, how to do that using the bouncing feature. Now, today we have a session here, a Pro Tools session that has a drum mix that I created. Um, Let's go ahead and press play. Sorry for that. So we can hear a little bit of what we have here. I have a kick track, a couple snare tracks, a snare bus, a tom track, hi-hat, and overheads. Okay, so it's basically a drum mix. Uh, I'll go ahead and press play so we can listen to how these drums sound like. Okay, so as you could hear, it's basically a drum mix. So how do we bounce this to stereo, to a, to a stereo mix? Well, if we go File, Bounce to, Disk, you're going to have this bounce window uh, happening. Okay, so first thing, the bounce source. Bounce source is very important. Why? Why is it important? Because this source, this will be... Like, basically, the, the mix that you're going to bounce is going to be the exact same material that goes out through this output. In this case, monitor, left and right, stereo. I'm going to close this for a second. I'm going to go to the mix window so you can see. My kick is going out monitor. My snare top and bottom are going to a snare bus that's going out monitor, left and right. The same with the tom track, the hi-hat track and the overhead track. So basically all of these tracks are going to my main stereo monitor output left and right, which is where my my monitors, my speakers are connected to. So if we go back to the edit window and we go file, bounce to disk, this is right. If by some reason there was something here that wasn't going to monitor out, then that sort that track would not get bounced. So you don't want you don't want to be in that situation. So you want to make sure that everything goes to to that output. You can always change it if you want, like to another output if you have more than more than that one. In my case, I only have that one, so that's my physical output. Then you have your file type. Uh, it could be MP3, AIFF, or WAV. We're gonna do WAV today, okay? Then you have your file format. You have interleaved, multiple mono, or mono summed. If you do interleaved, that means that it's gonna be a stereo WAV file, uh, and in that file, in, in a single file, you're going to have both channels. Now, if you do multiple mono, it's going to do one for one file for the left channel and one file for the right channel. You probably don't want that. Um, especially if you're going to send it to clients for them to reference and listen. You also have a mono sum version if by some reason you're listening in mono, but on the vast majority of cases, you're going to do interleaved. So, um, bit depth. We're going to do... Uh, you have three options in this case, 16, 24, and 32-bit float. We're going to do 16, and then your sample rate, that's your resolution, we'll do 44, 1 kilohertz. As you can see, it goes all the way from 8 kilohertz to 192 kilohertz. We're going to do 44.1 kilohertz at 16-bit, because this is what, what we would call um, the Red Book Audio CD format. It's the audio CD format. So basically, if you bounce a file in this format, and then you burn it to a CD, you'll be able to play it in pretty much any stereo system that reads CDs. You can also add it to the iTunes library. I'm not going to do that. And then you have here your name. I'm going to delete whatever there was there, and I'm going to type my mix. Then you have your directory. Where do you want this new file to be located? Well, I'm going to choose my desktop. Okay, and then you have at the end offline on or off. If you do offline, that means that when I press bounce, it's gonna bounce it, and it's not gonna be in real time. It might be even faster. Um, now, if I don't have this this offline on, 
that means that it's going to be online. So the bouncing is going to take the same time, the same running time of the song. So if it's a three minute song, it'll take three minutes to bounce. I don't want that. So I'll just go offline. So if I press bounce, we're going to wait for that to happen. As you can see, it's bouncing uh, 8.4, 8.5 times the running time of the song. You can see how it's going super fast. So it is bouncing, and as soon as it ends, I can now navigate to my desktop, and here is my mix, that wave. I can right-click and open it with my with any player, and there it is. That's my mix. Now this file you can send to your clients or your artist and that's going to be their mix that you just bounce. So that's how you bounce a mix in Pro Tools. If you have any other questions, please call us from Obedia and PC Audio Labs and we're going to be happy to help you. We'll see you guys soon. Bye-bye. Today's Pro Audio hardware and software can give you excellent results if you know how to use it properly. Obedia can help you to get the most out of your Pro Audio hardware and software. Why spend your time scouring the internet for answers or digging through manuals? With one quick call to an Obedia technician, you'll be connected with someone who can give you the answers that you need in real time via phone and remote desktop. Obedia technicians are trained in all major digital audio applications on Mac, PC, iOS, and Android devices. Obedia member subscriptions are cost effective, give you great member benefits, and Obedia is here seven days a week to help you get the most out of your digital audio hardware and software. No matter what your level of expertise, Obedia can help you to stay focused and productive and get your music back on track. Start taming your technology today with Obedia.